words in the English language to account for all of the things that women are not enough of, says award-winning columnist, musician and activist Lizzie Marvelly. She joins us now to tell us all about her new book, That F Word, oh, I've already got a page mark, That F Word, Growing Up Feminist in Aotearoa. It is so nice to have you here, Lizzie. Oh, Welcome. Nice to be here. Thank you. And congratulations on the book. Thank you so much. What an achievement. Um, let's go back a bit, though, to mm -hmm. just talk a little bit about your beginnings and everything, because you, you had a sort of slightly, your music career was a very, very big thing when you were a teenager, yes. wasn't it? Um, yep. You toured, what, Sir Howard Morrison, yes. who's a relation, yes. um, Dame Malvina Major, you toured the world, you released two top ten albums. Yeah. I mean, that's not your typical teenage life, is it? <laughs> it's pretty jam-packed. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quite different. How do you think that shaped you? I, I think I learnt an enormous amount during those years, um, both about what I was doing, about music and touring and all that kind of stuff, but also about myself. And I think having to grow up quite quickly had quite an impact on me, um, both both good and bad. Mm. Yeah. Because that, that industry can be notoriously sexist as well, can't yes, it? Yeah. It's very male-dominated as well. Yes. And did you experience sexism with it? I did, absolutely. Um, I experienced quite a lot of sexual harassment in the entertainment industry. Um, so those kinds of experiences, I think, definitely had an impact. But in the long term, they've just made me stronger. How much harder is it to be a woman in the music industry based on that? It's quite difficult. I mean, you've got lots of different things going on. It's a very male-dominated industry numerically, so there's just a lot more um, dudes, especially in kind of production and at the executive level. Um, and then I, th I find one of the weird parts is that, or one of the hard parts, I should say, is that you've got a lot of young women who are literally products. So you create this strange kind of paradigm where you've got young women coming into an environment they're not familiar with, and then there's this, this great big power divide between the product and the people who are behind the scenes. Mm. Um, obviously writing is also your thing as well. Mm. You've got a weekly column, you write online as well. What made you decide that this was a book that needed to be written? It's the kind of book that I really wanted to read and I've read a lot of amazing books by feminists all around the world but there aren't really many written by New Zealand feminists. Mm. Um, Michelle Accord wrote one a few years ago but there aren't that many in the space at the moment so I really wanted to try to um, try to demystify feminism and try to take it out of being quite an academic thing to just talk about the reality of um, gender and being a woman in New Zealand. Well a lot of people think too if you are a feminist that you are automatically an angry feminist. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm quite a happy feminist. <laughs> so, so do you go into that a little bit in the book? Yeah, I do. I start to kind of deconstruct some of the misconceptions around it. And I mean, another misconception is that being a feminist means that you're a man-hater, which mm. is just totally not true. Um, and feminism's all about equality. So I try to kind of strip back some mm. of that um, bad PR, shall we say, yeah. that feminism has had. What are some of the other topics in the book? There's heaps in there. So there's everything from um, my own experiences with like mental health through to um, discussion of pornography, um, some looking back at history in New Zealand. Um, I mean, it's 125 years since women won the right to vote in mm. this country. So I talk a little bit about that journey. So there's heaps of stuff in there. So much must have gone into this book, so many different topics. I mean, how much research was involved? Quite a lot. I spent a lot of um, late nights, you know, just trying to read through things and, and pull together the, the angles that I wanted to take and the topics I wanted to discuss. But the book in total probably took about nine months to write. Um, wow. And I was writing pretty much flat out. And you've said to yourself that you've always kind of been outspoken. Do you think that's been an advantage or have there been times where it might have been a disadvantage? Oh, you? I think they kind of go hand in hand sometimes. <clears throat> yeah. you know, sometimes just when you speak out, um, you don't know how people are going to react. So really the way I've tried to look at that is just to be true to myself as much as I mm. can and also to try and kind of kick down some doors so that um, young women younger than me will hopefully not have as much of a struggle. You are quite outspoken online mm. and you get a lot of uh, trolls directing back at you. I mean, how do yeah. you deal with them? What do they say to you? Uh, they say all kinds of things um, from, I mean, there's a chapter in there in which um, the, the chapter name is actually, will someone please shoot this B word, um, New Zealand effing hate. Wow. So you get some really nasty comments online, um, but I, I mean, my kind of advice around dealing with that stuff is to reach out to your support network, and especially for younger people, because I mean, I know that a lot of young people really struggle with online abuse, um, is to not feel like it's your fault and to not feel like you're alone, mm. and actually 
to reach out to say, um, you know, I need some help with this. That's that's the first step because no one needs to suffer alone. Yeah, yeah. you're absolutely right there. Hey, Lizzie, absolute pleasure talking to you, and congratulations on Thank this. Thank you so much. Uh, lots of really great stuff in here. Well worth a read. Thank you. Thanks. That F word is available from all great bookshops right now and you can check out her website for further details.